A lot of people ask me which are the best types of wood to burn in a wood burner. Well, they basically come into two categories. There's the soft wood, which is the conifers, uh, woods that have pines or cones. And there's the hardwoods, which are the deciduous trees, which are like oak, maple, ash, birch. The main difference between them is the hardwood is a slower growing tree, much denser, and has a higher calorific value by volume than the lighter woods like this pine. The pine is a faster burning type of wood. It tends to smoke a little bit more because a lot of the softwoods, the, um, the conifers, have resins in. So that's why they tend to burn a bit quicker. But the better log to burn once your wood burner is at temperature is by far the hardwood logs. And if you go to my website, you'll see a breakdown of the various types of British woods that you'll use on a log burner and their characteristics of how they burn in the log burner. So those are the main, main two. And, and by far the most important thing is the moisture content of the wood. As you can see, I tend to store my own wood here, which allows it to season properly. Now, a seasoned log would generally have a moisture content of less than about 25%. And that can sometimes take two years, depending on the type of wood that you're trying to season. Now, for example, some of this ash, another hardwood, it's quite dense and a good burner, and it also is a very low moisture content. So it's able to be burnt a lot sooner than some of the, the heavier, denser woods like the oak. Now one of the ways that I suggest you check to see if it's seasoned properly is usually you'll find cracks appearing in the, in the end of the log, which means it's, it's starting to dry out. And also the bark pulls away quite easily. And seasoned wood tends to discolour and become a greyer type of colour as it dries out more. So it's particularly the oaks, you'll see the end grain very grey, grey looking as opposed to a green log which will look very dark. And you can also try tapping them. If you hit a log that's seasoned, you should get quite a solid thud noise. Now if that was an unseasoned log and damp, it would give a very dull sound. So it's a really basic way of trying to check. In conclusion, I, I would suggest the best way of, of using a wood burner is to use a combination of the soft woods and the hard woods. So getting the fire going initially, soft wood is by far the best way of getting it. And then as you reach the correct working temperature of the wood burner, start introducing the hard woods, which will burn better and, lo and longer. So you get a better mixture of the two. And it's also more economical to do it that way so that you don't just buy the hardwoods, the more expensive, if you have to buy it yourself. So I hope that's of use and uh, happy wood burning. Go to this website for lots more helpful material on how to operate your wood burner safely and efficiently, plus some money saving tips.